What's going on, YouTube? The Divinist I came with another video for your viewing pleasure. In this video, I'm not getting any financial advice or telling you the stock market. You invest how you see fit. You do your own research. Don't listen to me. In today's video, we're talking about what are the downsides of, of a dividend portfolio. Now, dividends are wonderful, in my personal opinion. They're wonderful. It's, it's, why one of the, it's probably the, one of the best ways to make money passively. You don't got to do no work, go research up front, buying the stock, hold it, and you get dividend. You get your, it's your portion, a dividend is your, it's your portion of the company's profits being, being paid to the shareholder. So you hold the share, you get dividends. The more shares you have, the more money they'll pay you. Okay, so... In this video, we're talking, what's the downsides of dividend investing? And that everything could be just, you know, perfect. And it's not. Dividend investing is a very scary thing. And before you get to dividend investing or your whole portfolio is for a dividend, you got to look at the, the cons of it. The number one con of dividend investing is the company, the board of directors that you invested in can cut their dividend. That's the they can cut their dividend. They can suspend a dividend. They can stop paying a dividend. And in March 2020, that's what happened with a lot of companies. A lot of hotel companies, uh, some cruise lines, a lot of businesses stopped paying dividends. They had to, they, they, they was closed down. They had like movie theaters. They had they, they were closed down. They wasn't making no revenue. And they had to stop paying the dividend. Now, um, they had to stop paying dividend because they needed extra cash flow to keep their business afloat. And I, un I understand that. But that's the scary part. If a company goes under or they're doing a bad job, they can cut it completely. They stop paying dividend altogether. They can make a monthly dividend and quarterly dividend. So you can get their monthly payments. They can say, you know what? We'll stop paying our dividend quarterly. They can change that. They can change the quarterly dividend to go monthly. They can cut their dividend price. It was paying $0.10. Cent. They just might decide to pay you $0.05 now. It's out of your control. Um, they can stop paying dividends altogether. So we're paying no more dividends to our shareholders. They can just find that whatever they want to. That's a scary thing. The next scary thing about dividend investing, that the stock that you invest in dividends don't really grow. They don't really grow at all because most companies that don't pay a dividend, they take that money and invest back in the business and make them bigger. The companies that do pay a dividend, so they pay their shareholders, the company won't grow as fast and they're probably stagnant. They probably won't grow a little bit or at all. So that's another issue with dividend investing that the company you're investing in won't go up at all. I mean, the companies I had for a year and a half, a few of them went from $13 to $16, but that's it. They have not grown no more than that, and they're down this week. So you got to look forward to that as well. And you, you're using tax, you're using money to buy stock to go away tax. Now, I'm using a taxable account. Now, you're doing a, a Roth RA, that's different. I'm using a, a regular Robinhood account. I'm using money that I've already been taxed on to buy stocks that I'm going to pay tax on the dividends. So, it's a lot of downsides to dividend investing. The company can cut their dividend in half, they can stop paying a dividend. The company can decide, you know what, we're done with dividends. We ain't paying no more dividends at all. Uh, you know, um, they, they don't have much growth. You know, you, you know, Arbor is down, Horizon is down, and they might stay $16 for the next 30 years. They, it, there's no growth with it. All they pay is a dividend. So, and, and you have to pick very good companies that have a where they're paying a dividend the good times and the bad times. And the, the one note I'm going to tell you if I get out this video, the companies that paid dividend during the whole March 2020, where everything was shut down and people were losing jobs and people couldn't go nowhere and nothing was closed, the companies that still pay the dividend are the ones you should be looking at. I might give them suggestions. The ones who pay dividend during the March 2020 and the whole year 2020, never stop paying a dividend. Those are the ones you may want to give a second look to because they, they took a hit. Every, the price dropped probably in half, 
and they still pay the dividend. They still pay the in fact they even raise the dividend. Those companies we need to be looking at on a regular basis. So that's the end of my video. Thanks for watching. You know, what are the downsides of that? Those are the downsides. Uh, thanks for watching my video. I'll see you next time.